Um, Ruse, congratulations. Uh, what, 60 hours since taking the job and you've, you've got a win. How does that feel? Feels good. Um, I'm really happy for, you know, the, the players, obviously, the staff and the fans. Um, most pleased about the effort and the behaviours of the players. That's probably the first thing that I spoke about, what this club stands for, um, its values attached to it and the people that represent the fans and members of the football club. Um, we, we need to be an attachment um, of them. And that was important that the performance showed that at least today. Um, that's obviously, sorry, that's obviously the emotional aspect of it. I'm sure you try to implement some things tactically without a lot of time to work with the team. So what did you try and get through to them in a short space of time that might have come through tonight from your point of view? A lot, a lot. We, we I think you saw a completely different performance than, than, than previous, which tells me I've got smart footballers who, who take on messages very quickly. And we kept the ball moving. Some of our rotations were good. Um, but a long way to go, a lot of work ahead. On that, Roods, given that you only had uh, two or so training days with the team, in, in terms of what you're trying to get across with them, what aspect did, did were you pleased the most with in regards to that and what did you probably want a little bit more of? I think both the both, uh, components with the ball and without the ball were quite good. You know, we, we showed them on the park um, some patterns Day one, day two was was our defensive structure, and I think it was important that we, you know, we we, we tried to keep it simple, but at the same time give them enough information so they understood their roles and responsibilities. We could be better. That, that goes without saying, with the ball and, and without the ball as well. Um, it's only just the start, you know. Like, like you said, 60 hours or two days with them is is nowhere near enough. But for them to have taken on those messages so quickly um, was pleasing. Roots, you, you mentioned only having two days with the group. How did you find them kind of emotionally? Like, I imagine it's pretty dull when, you know, you lose 3-0, your coach gets sacked. How, how were they? Yeah, look, it's... Um, I think they were a little bit down, uh, but not just the playing group, you know. Everybody attached to the football club, and it's my job to, to lift the spirits and, and to change the mentality of the club and, and, and understand what, what this club's about. You know, I'm, I'm quite ruthless in the way I work as well. Um, and outside noise doesn't bother me. You know, I, I know and I understand how disappointed the fans have been. They deserve a lot better. I'm hoping that after tonight's performance, like in terms of the effort, um, that, that slowly they're going to understand exactly what this football team and club is going to be looking for, you know, when we, when we talk about moving forward. Um, so that, that, that was important. But, you know, it's, it's, you just got to move on. You know, in football, yeah, one thing I learned very quickly is the word amnesia, you know, and, and the sooner you can move on from, from the past, the better, and, and look forward um, quickly. You, you named Jack as your captain tonight. Is that going to be a permanent fixture? Oh, let's see. I, I think he's a wonderful character in the, in the short time that I've got to know him. Um, you know, his CV, he, he speaks for itself, but what I'm most pleased is his attitude. He's got, he's got a fantastic attitude, and he embodies a lot of the, the values that I speak about. And, and I thought he was superb tonight, I really did. Not just the goal, but just, you know, in the 88th minute, he's closing down, he's, he's harassing, he's winning balls, he's, he put his body on the line, and, and there were so many of them tonight that did the same thing. Uh, but like I said, that's just a start. It's easy to do it once. Um, the challenge is to continue to do it day in, day out. Do, do you think so that's I mean, a position behind, behind Hammond? Because he, yeah. he has got the ability to play deeper or even yeah, yeah. centre-back in the field. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the centre-back is, is one thing that I'm thinking about because we... You know, we're short there, right? But but certainly, I'm big on um, embracing um, and promoting good behaviours and, and and good traits in, in players, and and you want to get the best out of them. So, like I said, I'm still trying to figure all that out. You know, in terms of what the improvements are, and what the positives are in each individual. Um, and I thought tonight he was best suited to play in that role, and then was rewarded with a goal. But like I said, his his effort was was brilliant. But you know, I still need time to 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 understand each and every individual's um, you know their their positives and their improvements. Yeah. Uh, you spoke earlier about the Western Sydney values that you want to instill <coughs> into your team. Um, and can you just touch on what those values are and how you want to see those values being portrayed in your team's performance? I think it's quite simple. You know, being being a, being a boy from the West myself, it's easy for me. Um, to to, to verbalise it uh, because I've lived it, 
So I understand what these people are about, um, but it's going to be a continuous challenge uh, or challenging not just the playing group, but everybody involved at the football club. And that goes all the way down to, to our youth teams now and our academy teams. It's, it's, it's going to be um, embedded in them. Um, the fight, the grit, you know, the, uh, the never say die attitude, the passion, that, that's, that's what we're about. That's what this area is about. And, and, and like I said, that's going to be important that everybody attached to this football club understands that and, and, uh, and lives it day in, day out. Breeze, you've got a few more days, maybe even less than that, before the transfer window shuts. Have you got any plans to bring in any new faces before then? Yes. Oh, you can... Uh, oh, there's nothing more. to elaborate. <laughs> I answered your no, question. The floor's yours. Uh, it's okay. Uh, the, yes. Where are you looking to strengthen roots? ASAP. I'm already on to it. Where? I think the question was where roots on the path. Yeah, I understand the question. And I gave the answer. We're looking to improve, you know, and we're, I'm already on to it. It's good, though. All three of you got the, to, to ask a different type of question, but the same kind of answer you're going to get. But it doesn't really matter how you spin it. You, you, you've got an answer out of me. Mate, you, can not take Marcus, you can take Marcus Harris's spot at the top of the order, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All good? That's probably us, mate, but thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Well done. Okay.